finally made it to the car and I'm starting my morning off with a fruit. I ended up grabbing one and then I also listen to NPR news in the morning. So right now I just lowered it just so. Today is your day. But yeah. Do it now. Thank you. yeah, that is usually what I start off while driving to oh, campus. What's up everybody? I just made it on campus right now. I really apologize for the darkness in the video. It's just guys, it's super, super dark outside. I'm about to go into formation right now. I'm gonna take my bag of stuff that I ended up bringing. Um, but essentially this is all that I have. I know that I have to take a water source, pen and paper, and I'm gonna take off my ring because you're not allowed to have jewelry um, and I don't work out with jewelry whatsoever during PT. Correction, you are allowed to have jewelry like wedding band and all that jazz, but this ring I'm gonna take it off. Um, but anyways, yeah. All right, it's finally the daytime. You can obviously see the sun now, so that's really cool. Um, it's still super early. We finally just got released from actual formation. For today, we ended up running and we ended up having class right afterwards, so that was really good. I ended up getting a run in this morning, and then literally it's two days out before the actual PT test, which is a record APFT. We do get graded on our physical abilities, and basically, you know, you have to be able to be capable to run X amount of minutes and like a two mile um, run as well as doing two minute sit-ups and then two minute push-ups that's pretty much what we always continue to keep preparing ourselves so right now I'm gonna head out to the car and then I'm gonna drive home I'm gonna shower get all jazzed up or whatever cuz guys I'm stinking and we trying to smell fresh or whatever is the beginning of the week so we're gonna have a nice week and a nice day okay it's gonna be a long day literally today I am NOT leaving campus till really really late so yeah lovely so I finally managed to get some lighting so I just finally finished all of my makeup all of my hair and you know you get the drift strain it do your makeup if you want to see a video of that do let me know down below but now we're gonna move on to making some breakfast so it's time for that and then once I am done making breakfast I'm gonna head over and out to campus because it's time for me to start studying and you know I wanted to make this video really to be like guys like School is not like all this like eating and partying and hanging out with friends and all that stuff. You really, 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 really have to hone in your skills of not procrastinating and really taking the time out of your day to be effective in what you want to accomplish and be smart about it as well. So if you're taking notes, we're not being a passive reader, we're being an active reader, all that jazz, you catch my drift. So let's move on to some breakfast. I'm my clip and I totally forgot to mention, I switched out my shirt to this black one. The reason I ended up doing that is because when I was doing my makeup and I was applying it onto my neck because my shirt um, was white, it ended up getting all over my collar pretty much and I was like, guys, I'm not about to walk out this place, you know, like my shirt's white and here we are with all this makeup up here. So I ended up switching it out to this one right over here. So yeah. just right now I found parking and literally a parking lot that's gonna save me like a 10 minute walk because it literally takes me I want to say 20 minutes because it's over a mile and it's there you're literally walking up a hill and all this stuff to get to my first class and I ended up coming on campus a lot earlier than I typically do just because today there's some sort of event happening um, in our um, school itself and within the college there is like um, pretty much an arena where a lot of events are hosted from outside schools, from outside, from just outside the community, and a lot of events are hosted there because it's such a big stadium, like schools, graduation, like high school graduation, all that jazz. So they were like, hey, I really recommend that you come in earlier. And guys, I found literally a 
spot where I parked literally this morning and like this is typically where people um, the cadets end up parking because it's so close to the field and it's right then and like there's nobody coming in super early at the crack of dawn before even the sun has hit to be parking over here so the fact that I found parking is like so crazy because I'm pretty sure somebody probably just on class and they finish or something but yeah so I have all of my stuff already there and the good thing is is that I ended up um, bringing my Herbalife shake with me that's what I'll be having for lunch today and then I'm having a snack bar with it and then I have another um I have another um round of my Herbalife in here so this is just basically where I carry my powder and I brought an extra water bottle so it's gonna help me with like blending it because this is essentially where I blended I'm drinking my um, chai latte I like it ice I don't really like it hot I mean I do don't get me wrong but like I prefer colder drinks especially since it's so hot outside anyways I'm gonna head over to the library I'm gonna do some studying because I really need to just sit down and just like read a couple of articles before I go into like one of my classes guys today is literally such a long day this is my longest day I have four classes and the last two classes are three hour lectures so it's an absolute brutal day I literally have um, less than 15 minutes to get to each class and so there's a lot of walking around on campus but anyways without further ado let's get on to actually studying and being this college student because it's not like I said it's not just hanging out with your friends going out of parties this no the bitter truth is you spend a lot of time studying and that's what I'm about to do right now of course we keep on going though everybody know it the truth about our way we tied it loosens up I'm sorry be cool go on and fake it we still know we will break it we make the same mistakes we always made and now let's face it I, I know that I'm like currently filming about like my normal kind of routine but it's kind of weird right now because I'm walking to class right and I see two people that I know and it's not that it's not normal that I don't know people but it's just that it's such a huge campus that you don't really get to run into people that you know unless you like take classes with them or you know where they're heading to and I just saw two people who are cadets and it was so funny they're like you're not gonna stop by and say hi and I, oh. I was like I literally was not paying attention like I'm literally just listening to music trying to get out of this way from all these people because there's so many people like literally walking on campus like you can kind of see that or whatever so this is like the farthest i have to walk to my next class because it's literally on the other side of campus um but yeah english class here we go I've been up since 5 in the morning, it's currently 4 o'clock, or 4 a.m. to be specific. Um, I'm currently on my third class, I had some difficulties early with the elevator, literally twice, like it was not dropping me off on the correct floor, so I had to go ahead and travel, and pretty much just stand around here in class, you know, on campus or whatever. So anyways, we're moving on, there's going to be a quiz right now um, about current events that are currently happening in Central Asia, and then we're going to go over basically all the ratings and guys literally was over the readings and stuff so yeah this is college for y'all i think i literally just had my breaking point guys that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand and i do think that i'm gonna end up getting a monster because i am so tired and i just sat in a two-hour lecture and I have another hour left. And then after this, I have another lecture that's three hours long. So you can only imagine my attention, my attention span. Like I can't even talk. Um, is slowly decreasing. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay guys, I'm finally heading over to my last class right now. Again, like I mentioned, it is gonna be a three hour lecture. So far, I'm down half of my monster, guys. I am super exhausted right now, um, and I really need to use the bathroom, so maybe that's a little bit too much of a TMI, but I'm just being honest. Oh, God, time. You made me feel sweet. And if I'm losing my mind, Okay guys, I finally just finished my last class of the day. It's been such a long day. Guys, literally, I have had lecture back to back. My last two lectures were three hours long and it was the full on three hours. Um, and then previously before that, I had a 1.5 and before that, a 1.5 hour lecture. So three plus three plus three, you know the drift, is nine hours just worth of lecture this is literally my day and that doesn't even include like the time that I took out of my day to also do notes prior to my class as well and I can finally drive off home and luckily I get to see sushi world tonight so I feel great because I'm gonna be off of everything tomorrow but literally tomorrow like it's gonna be just heavy base research studying doing all these like case studies really going to depth because obviously assignments are still due and there's multiple research papers to be done for multiple um for multiple classes essentially so i wanted to give you guys a legit take on my day and now you get to see not every single day it's just like oh you show up for lecture for 1.5 hours or three hours um no my day is literally nine hours of lecture back to back there's no breaks i literally have 15 minutes between each class to get to point a to point b to point B to point C. So I finally just finished all of my classes. I finally just shower and I finally get to eat. This isn't the best time to be eating because it's past 10 p.m. So like, yeah. But anyways, finally showering all that jazz. I'm so happy that it's over with. I feel extremely exhausted. Would I recommend that you do four classes back to back, let alone three hour lectures back to back? Um, no, because it's a lot of work and the reason that I decided to do it is just because I really just wanted to get everything over with and I rather have a schedule where I could just get everything done all at once rather than having it to be kind of broken down during the week. So yeah, it sucks that I have to be on campus literally the entire day, but at the same time, I don't have to be there every single little piece every single day. So that's what's great and then I could focus out throughout the week stuff that i need to basically learn if i have any questions i can go to office hours all of that jazz because it's only just one day that i'm taking out from pretty much essentially work and my personal life and everything to just do my lectures so i hope that you guys kind of got the idea of what my schedule is like not everybody's schedule is the same not everybody is going to be waking up at five in the morning and if you do want like an rotc edition of like get ready with me i could definitely do that um, because that's a whole different way to get ready, especially when I have lecture slash lab. I get ready completely different for ROTC versus me just going in my like regular classes. Like this is just like my regular classes. This doesn't include when I go to lab because when I go to lab and all that jazz, I do have my uniforms and so you are very specific to what you're supposed to look like and carry certain items with you at all time because they're inspectable. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Um, do comment, do like, whatever, do what you gotta do, share it, you know, subscribe if you want to or whatever. And that's it, so stay groovy. <laughs>